In this session about atrial fibrillation, what were the, the take-home messages about your presentation in this session? The take-home message is atrial fibrillation confers a high risk of stroke. Uh, the risk of stroke is not homogenous and depends on the presence of various stroke risk factors and it's very important to assess stroke risk in patients with atrial fibrillation and in the guidelines, the ESC guidelines recommends the use of the CHADS VASCO. Bleeding risk is also relevant because if you're trying to prevent strokes, we give antithrombotic therapy, essentially anticoagulant therapy, and bleeding risk should be assessed. And in the ESC guidelines, use the has blood score. At the end of the day, you're trying to balance stroke reduction versus the potential for harm with bleeding, and the net clinical benefit if you're doing that is essentially in favor of anticoagulation if patients have one or more additional stroke risk factors. So the, mess the key message to take away, think very carefully about stroke prevention and atrial fibrillation, assess stroke risk, assess bleeding risk, offer effective stroke prevention to patients with atrial fibrillation and one or more stroke risk factors. Effective stroke prevention means oral anticoagulant therapy. Uh, and don't forget also in terms of um, uh, stroke prevention and atrial fibrillation, aspirin is hardly effective. It is certainly not safe due to the risk of serious bleeding with aspirin. And from recent guidelines from the UK, such as the NICE guidelines, it is not cost effective. So stroke prevention means oral anticoagulant therapy. And what is the role of the new anticoagulants? In new anticoagulants on NOACs offer uh, the opportunity to overcome some of the limitations of vitamin K antagonists or warfarin uh, because they have, uh, the, in terms, they are at least as good as or sometimes even better than warfarin, certainly um, uh, safer in many cases compared to warfarin and particularly having less intracranial hemorrhage, uh, which is a major problem when warfarin is prescribed.